Okay, Meek Mill's going to save the Britain. And Philadelphia native Meek Mill hosted a community day of action as part of what's called Second Chance Month. Its mission is to support people and their families who ended up on the wrong side of the criminal justice system. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson has the story from South Philadelphia. The city of Philadelphia is celebrating National Second Chance Month with this community day. They say it's all about bringing people together and meeting people where they are. If people have better circumstances, we can produce better outcomes. After your debts to society are paid and you're out, the message by Reform Alliance and more than a dozen community-based organizations is that everyone deserves a second chance. Oftentimes it's a barrier for people to either get to some of these service providers, to get to some of these organizations, to even get to some of these entities, or they don't even know, or they're scared to ask. The Community Day of Action at 26 and Morris is part of Second Chance Month, providing access to opportunities so ex-cons can be contributing members of society. This was an opportunity. Okay, so Meek Mill did this. Look at this street. Look at this shit. Look how sparse the turnout is. You got all these fucking programs down there. And the people don't show up for this. Because they don't want your fucking services. They don't want this shit. And, and they're told about this on their entry or on their exit from the system. Yeah, no doubt they give you that, but still, like, I listen. I know you. You it's so many programs, Mayo. Your 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 PO or your parole officer may give you a couple of programs. You know what I'm saying to go to, but Mayo, there's hundreds and hundreds of programs in these cities, man. Like your POs that will tell you everything. He's just gonna give you like. He gonna put point you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I mean, I mean, while you're in prison and and you're scheduled to get out, you're taking classes and giving these these materials too. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's just it's just you think, and maybe it's better that they didn't show up because maybe if more people showed up, somebody would get shot. Of society. This was an opportunity to seize it. Expungement services, mental health, housing assistance, and employment opportunities. Every element critical for success. It's important that we engage the population in our city, but most importantly that we engage our reform population so that they know they have an opportunity and that there's a better chance out there next time. The event was free and open to the Man. public. It featured music, food, activities for youth. More than a dozen area nonprofits participated. Reporting from Grace Ferry, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6, Action News. Sharifa. Man, um, listen, man. Um, <laughs> okay, so here, what do we got here? Um, Others driving in a car in South Philadelphia are on the receiving end of gunfire. One of them was killed. Authorities are now hoping someone can come forward with a tip that will help solve this case. Here is Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters Report. 18-year-old Aquil Foster was a passenger in a car the night of Tuesday, June 21st. At 1145 p.m., Foster's brother was driving them along the 600 block of Rittner Street in South Philadelphia. That's when police were called for reports of a person with a gun. Inside the vehicle was one male later who, who was later identified as Mr. Uh, Foster. He was shot. Medics took him to the hospital where he died at 1.18 a.m. The brother was not injured. At the scene, officers recovered 12 9-millimeter shell casings. We at the Crime Commission have a $20,000 reward. But information leading to the arrest and conviction of the persons or persons who committed this act. All you have to do is call the Citizens Crime Commission at 215-546-TIPS. All calls will remain anonymous. For Crime Fighters... But look at this kid. He's in the picture throwing up gang signs. And, you know, he's got that look. You know what I'm saying? He's got that whole look. So well, maybe in... his set put up the reward auction. Man, it's a hopeless situation, man. You gotta try to find who killed this guy. He might have shot. He might have fucking shot one of their people a day before. You know, the day before. It's just, it's, it's a, it's a very, very 